Hey, welcome back. Wear my Superman shirt, so I figured I'd jump in and save the day. Fly in here. But welcome back. I have a, uh, always say I got a special treat for you. But guess what, I'm still doing keto, and uh, like I told you, I'm not hiding behind the apron anymore. So I want you to see my progress. What do we have for you today? I've got a special request for this one, and I am doing collard greens. Yeah, I am doing collard greens with some smoked turkey tail. One of the things that I don't like about greens is that it takes all day to prepare them. I mean, growing up, it's like my mom would start this, put the greens on before we left for church, and then we come back uh, three or four hours later and the greens are still not done and still gotta wait another hour. Like it's an all day process, but I am gonna show you how to do greens in about an hour. Yes, you heard that right. Greens in one hour. And the most flavorful, most tender, most delicious greens. Because I'm using the pressure cooker. And we're gonna cut this time by 75%. So without further ado, you know what? Instead of talking about it, that's right. Let's get to it. Okay, and we are back. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to open our pressure cooker and we are going to add our smoked turkey tail. Now, I get a lot of people who say that they are afraid of the pressure cooker because they seen them explode on people, uh, and they seen all kind of tragedies with them. But they're really easy to use, and they're not that intimidating. Once you lock this lid, you are in shape. You just don't want to open it while the pressure is built up. So I got my turkey tails in there. I usually do my own chicken stock or chicken broth, but. Hey, I didn't feel like doing it today, so what I'm doing is I'm just adding some chicken broth to this, and we want to cover this. We want to make sure that the turkey tails are covered. Now, you can use whatever smoked meat you like. Me, you can use, uh, you use turkey necks, you can use ham hocks, you can use whatever kind of smoked meat you prefer, but me, I love the turkey tails. I absolutely love the turkey tails for greens. For me, you get more meat and it delivers a lot of flavor. So I have my chicken stock and my turkey tails are covered. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to turn the burner on. We're gonna turn this up high because we want this just to come to a boil. We want that pressure to build up to start cooking it. Now these are gonna take about 40 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes. I always check it around about 40 minutes. I'll take it off, run it under the cold water to extract that pressure. And then I check to see how tender they are. And if they need to go a little further, I let them go a little further until they are very tender. Now I'm gonna add some salt to this because we want to get some flavor in here. And this is about all that I am going to add to this. Now, we are going to let this sit, and once this comes back up, once this pressure starts to build up and it starts to steam, I'll show you exactly what we're going to do with that. Hey, so we'll be back in a second. Up, up, and away! Okay, we are back, and our pressure is starting to build up. Now, at this point, you do not want to touch it. Just let it do its work. This is going to go for about 40 minutes, and like I said, after about 40 minutes, it's gonna go for about 45 minutes, and after 40 minutes, I'm going to run this under some cold water, I'm gonna check it to see just how tender our turkey tails are and we'll from there 
After the turkey tails are done, it's going to take these greens about 15 minutes to cook. That's it. 15 minutes and it's going to develop the most amazing flavor. But until then, let's let this do its thing and I'll see you in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so we are back and our turkey tails are all done. And I am gonna show you just how tender they are. You see this? See how you can just take a fork and they just come right off. Like this is about as tender as you can get it. Fork tender. So these are nice and tender. And so the next thing we are going to do is I'm gonna add a little greens in here. So this is my mirepoix. Well, not mirepoix, but my holy trinity, which is onions, celery, and bell pepper. Also, I have some habanero peppers. There, I, I'm just using the skin, which is gonna give it just a little heat. And then, I'm just going to add my greens into here. So, we're gonna put our lid on here. Putting the lid on the wrong way. Here it click. So, we're gonna let these come up to uh, pressure and in about 15 minutes, I'll be back. I'll add my vinegar, it's gonna add some freshness to it. And hey, that's gonna be it. And then, the big taste test. We'll be right back. So we are back and look, I'm gonna tell you, this entire place smells absolutely amazing. So we are ready to do the big reveal. I let the pressure come out of this. So the only thing left to do and I want you all to see this. Like, oh my goodness, 15 minutes. They are so tender and yummy. <laughs> Look, <laughs> can't wait to get into these. So get these greens in here. Oh my goodness, wait. First, like I said, always get me a little vinegar. About a tablespoon full because I like that fresh vinegar, as you can see, yeah, it's getting me. I like that fresh vinegar at the end of it. And I'm gonna mix this up, smell that apple cider vinegar, and we get some of that turkey meat in here too, that's nice and tender. Oh, look, and that's it. I'm ready to match this. Look, I am ready. So, and before I do that, I got my hot sauce. God, I have Louisiana hot sauce. So, without further ado, Let's test, Let's test these, these bad, boys. bad boys out. Now these are piping hot. So, I'm gonna blow for a second. Ah, I can't wait. My mouth is watering. And I'm going in. Oh my goodness. Look. Y'all know what it is. It's another banger! Woo! These 
bad boys are fire. I need a moment, y'all. I really need a moment. These are absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But as always, thank you for watching. Hit that like. Well, rather, like, share, subscribe, and smack that notification bell. That way, you get notified when the next video is up. And until then, have a good one and happy eating. Peace out.